Hey everybody, it's Beth. Welcome to Infinite Garden. This video is especially for my silver sisters. Have you struggled to find the right brow pencil color to flatter your new glamorous hair color? If that sounds like a familiar struggle, I can certainly relate. For years, before I let my silver hair shine through, I dyed my hair a variety of warm tone colors. Auburn, Beyonce blonde, a platinum blonde, all of these colors require that I change up my pencil when I changed my hair color. And now that I'm silver, I found myself back in the makeup aisle in the brow pencil section wondering what should I choose? And if you've been following my channel for a while, you know the answer is that I tried all of them. I've been putting in the research and in today's video, I'm going to share what I've learned. We'll be looking at some photos of other silver haired folks and looking at their brow colors. I'll be demonstrating several different brow colors on me for comparison's sake. And finally, I'll be breaking down some of my specific product recommendations based on this research, including by price per product weight, which was really shocking to go through. So I'll be sharing some of that data in charts and graphs later. I will include timestamps below. If there's a portion of this video that doesn't interest you, you can skip right over it and go to the one that does. Otherwise, if this all sounds good to you, I hope you grab a delicious beverage of your choice and get comfortable. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I hope that you stay and subscribe. Before we get into looking at which brow pencils look best on my specific complexion, I wanted first to look at photos of other silver haired people to see what looks best on them. So let me just scooch to the side here. Some of these images may be familiar to you if you saw my video reviewing silver hair on the red carpet. In those videos, I did pay special attention to the brow pencils because we were looking at celebrities who had likely had makeup artists applying their brow pencil. I was finding a huge variety of eyebrow pencil colors on these celebrities, which kind of led to me wanting to make this video more in depth. I'm going to start first with Andy McDowell because she's quite similar to me, dark brown hair, dark eyes, and similar complexion. So in this photo, you can see that they have drawn in her eyebrows with what looks to me a medium to dark cool brown and overall I like this effect I feel like it looks natural on her and it is harmonious with her hair color I'm going to compare her to Sharon Stone Sharon's natural coloring is quite different she's naturally a blonde she has light eyes and you can see she's here in this photo growing out her gray hair they seem to have used a cool medium, maybe light brown. It could be a taupe, but in either case, it's quite cool and light. And again, I think an excellent choice to go with her hair color. This is a photo of a model. I'm not sure who this person is. She's very beautiful and I love her makeup, especially her lip color here. So in this picture, this particular model has deeper warm skin, but they have used a pencil that appears to harmonize with her hair color. So she appears to have a cool dark brown to possibly dark gray or black pencil on her brows. And I think this color looks very harmonious with her overall makeup look and with her hair as well. This is a picture you may have seen on my channel before. This is Emma Thompson, an actress who has sort of like a medium brown hair originally and now she's you know growing out her gray her brow pencil here appears to be like a medium brown maybe an ash brown i wouldn't say it's dark and it certainly isn't warm this is a model who has you know an ashy kind of silver gray tone in her hair and her skin is sort of a neutral warm they seem to have used for this particular model I would say it looks like, based on my research, probably a medium neutral brown, potentially an ash, maybe a gray pencil. But again, they're keeping her brow color quite consistent with her hair color. This is the picture I've shared before, a very dramatic makeup look on Dame Helen Mirren. In this case, you can see they've given her an extremely graphic dark black eyeliner look. And then the brow pencil appears to be a chocolate brown. I wanted to share this because I'm not so sure I agree with this choice. I love the bold and expressive makeup look, 
but part of me wonders if I wouldn't have preferred a more neutral brown on Dame Helen Mirren in this photo with this look. To me, the chocolate brown stands out as being out of harmony with the rest of the look here, and I thought that was pretty interesting. This person appears to have a medium to dark brown pencil that is a little bit warmer than neutral or ash although it does sort of read overall as neutral from afar, but I do think there's a little more warmth in this particular brow pencil, and that is harmonious with this model's skin tone, which is quite warm. Her hair color is quite a lot like mine. She has a brilliant silver with some dark brown undertones. This photo is of a beautiful bride with an incredible makeup look on for her wedding day. This person appears to have more warmth in her hair overall in the deeper tones, and the makeup artist here, I think, has really done a great job of matching the tone in her brows to her hair. I do see some amount of warmth, but overall, I would say this is fairly neutral, just slightly warm leaning. I think this is a very beautiful color. The brown almost has a bit of like a plummy lavender color. It's gorgeous, and I think she looks beautiful. I thought I'd throw this one in here for fun. This is a picture of George Clooney, and I can't say for sure whether or not he's wearing any eyebrow pencil. It could go either way. I know it's coming for everyone appearing on the red carpet to receive some sort of makeup attention, at least on their complexion. So it's possible they used a bit of brow pencil on him. It's also possible there is none at all. What I wanted to point out here is that the color of George's eyebrows look exactly like the color of the hair on his head. And I find that overall to be very harmonious and it looks great. And this was kind of a telling picture for me. This is a picture I took with my cell phone from the cover of a copy of People magazine. This is the late Queen Elizabeth II. I noticed that in this picture, her brows have been treated with a warm, light brown pencil, presumably to give her warmth. But I did think that I would have preferred to have seen her eyebrows a little less warm. I don't necessarily think adding that warmth where it isn't is the best look. And I didn't include the queen here to criticize her makeup. I just thought it was interesting that as I was putting this video together, this particular photo came my way and her brows were noticeably quite warm. And I wanted to include that here. Finally, one more. This is another model. I have shown this picture on my channel before. This particular model is someone, again, similar to me, to my complexion, eye color, hair color, and I noticed that her brows are done with a neutral medium to dark brown, and I think that looks great on her. I found it very helpful to look at these photos. What I learned for myself in looking at them is that there isn't one answer to the question of what is the best brow pencil color for gray hair. I think it really depends on the individual, on your complexion, on your hair color, and I think on your personal preferences. You may like adding warmth to your complexion by adding a warmer pencil, or you may want to lean more neutral or cool. It's really up to you. I personally feel that at this point, I am more flattered by the neutral to cool brow pencils. And what I want to do is show you some footage of me trying on many different eyebrow pencil colors over the last couple of weeks. I did this bit by bit as I got ready in the mornings, just trying out different products. In terms of brow gels and pomades, I was using the Kosas Airbrow. I was also using the Merit Volumizing Pomade, which is a product that was sent to me in PR and I've enjoyed using. It's slightly deeper than the taupe shade. The color of the Merit product is brown and the color of the Kosas product is taupe and those color names seem accurate. I was also working through some samples of, I've got the Kosas Airbrow in a clear gel, and then the classic Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel. I just have a sample of this, but I've bought untold quantities of this over the years. I'm very familiar with this product. I think the Kosas Airbrow is similar in hold style to ABH, maybe slightly lighter. In terms of brow hold on the colored pomades, I would say the Airbrow is slightly lighter than Merit's. I would say both of them hold more than the Glossier Boy Brow. The first pencil that I wanted to show you is by Hourglass. Hourglass makes two brow pencil products. One has a fine tip and one has quite a fat chisel tip. So in this video, I'm using the fat chisel tipped product in the color 
ash. So I love this particular shade, but I don't love the arch sculpting shape. I don't love the fat chisel. So if you have like nice thick eyebrows, you may just want to add kind of a nice wash of color throughout your brows. This would be a great product for that. I have very sparse eyebrows with gaps in between, so I actually prefer a fine tip pencil to be able to kind of draw in something that looks like brow hairs. So I don't love the chisel tip. I do prefer their fine tip, but I do not recommend Hourglass's fine tip pencil for reasons I will discuss in detail later in the video when we get into price per ounce. But overall, I really love the color Ash by Hourglass on my complexion. Next, I tried Kosas's brow product. They make a brow pencil and a tinted brow pomade, and in this segment here, I'm using both of those. I'm using the brow pencil in the color medium brown, and I'm using the brow pomade in the color taupe. The medium brown color is good. I think this is not too warm. I do think it leads somewhat ash, and it's not far off from the hourglass ash color. I found that somewhat surprising. I like this Kosas product. I feel like the product itself is quite uh, rigid and waxy. This one does also have a wedge tip like the hourglass, although it's very fine, so I can use it to get defined brow hairs. The brow pomade in taupe is quite nice. I think that's a nice color. I did try a couple of different tinted brow gels and clear brow gels. I do think that if I'm going to use a tinted brow gel or brow pomade, I think I do prefer that it be somewhat lighter rather than darker. That's just a personal preference, but I learned that during the course of this. So I do, on me, like both of these products, the brow pencil in medium brown and the brow pomade in taupe. Here I'm trying the one size brow kiki pencil in the color dark brown, which is a fine tipped pencil. The dark brown is darker than the Kosas in medium brown, but I'm gonna show you here on the back of my hand. On the back of my hand so far, you've seen Hourglass in Ash, you've seen Kosas in medium brown, and this is one size Brow Kiki in dark brown. Like I said, these are different shade names, but in reality, these colors are very, very close to each other. I like the one size product. This is my second one size brow pencil. I had previously tried their medium brown, which I liked very much as well. I think I'd be happy to use either one of these colors. Next, to really shake things up, I tried something way outside of these boundaries. I tried the Sephora store brand pencil, which is their brow shaper pencil. I tried this in the color Nutmeg Brown. This is the kind of color I might have used before when I was dyeing my hair blonde. It is a yellow toned warm light brown. This is a color that, you know, like I said, I would have used back in the past and it isn't terrible on me, but it is slightly warmer than I would want to wear now and I do think it makes my eyebrows look more like the picture I showed of the queen where she had worked in some warm color into her gray and black brows. And here on my hand, you can see this is the nutmeg brown color as it compares to the others. You can see it's quite a bit more yellow and quite a bit lighter. I will say I was surprised by how much I liked this Sephora store brand brow pencil. It's also waterproof. I wanted to throw that out there too in case for some reason this is the product you were hesitant to try. I think the Sephora store brand pencil hangs right in there with these other brands. Now for years I've been using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil and you'll see some of that later in the video. But for the first time I tried their wooden pencil format and this is the Gimme Brow Volumizing Pencil. I tried this in the color number four. So you can see that one is here. This is a richer dark brown. This is a classic pencil that you have to sharpen, but there's quite a lot of product in this little pencil. This one also says that it adds fibers, so it's like a tubing eyebrow pencil. I don't mind that. As someone with really sparse brows, I'm interested in those product claims for sure. 
I think this one is quite nice, although I do think that it produced a bit of a heavy, deep brow for me. I might be interested in this product in a color that's a little bit closer to some of these grayer medium ash tones. But again, I think this was kind of an interesting product and there's just a little less plastic waste that goes along with this particular product. Next, in this video, I tried two Fenty eyebrow pencils at the same time, one on each eye. So in this video, I believe on the right eye, I've got the color in ash brown, and then on my left eye, I use dark brown, just to show the difference in real time, side by side on one face. In this case, I think both of these colors look good on me, the ash and the dark brown. I think I'd be comfortable wearing either one of those. I think it comes down to my overall makeup look and how deep of a brow I'm looking for. If I'm going for more of an effortless, more ethereal, kind of soft look, maybe the ash brown is the right color for me. And if I'm going for a little bit more of a dramatic look where I want to have more definition coming from my brow, maybe the dark brown is the right choice. Both of these, I think, work well. I also tried the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil, a long-standing favorite of mine in the color gray, which I think is very interesting. When you go gray, you might think that that's the right color for you. You can see here, the gray is truly gray compared to this kind of warm chocolate brown and then the yellow brown and then some of these warmer tones here. You can see here that this gray really is a deep, cool gray. I have found in most cases that this particular shade, this gray shade, is too intense for me. I think it feels too other from my coloring. A heavy gray brow with this particular pencil is actually not a look I'm usually looking for. I will get use out of this though because the Precisely My Brow Pencil is so hard and waxy that you can really choose your adventure in terms of how deep the color is and how fine the line is. So with a light hand, I'm very much able to fill in my brows with the gray pencil. I have just found that gray isn't as flattering to me as maybe an ash brown or as a dark brown. That's just my personal opinion. Finally, for something completely different, in addition to all of these pencils, I did try a brow stencil kit that was sent to me by iMethod. I've seen a couple of different people review this. I've been planning this video for a while and they offered to send this to me right when I was in the middle of starting to take footage and so I was happy to get another product in the mix. So this is different in that it's not a pencil, rather it's a stencil that you hold up to your face and then you use this particular um, sponge tip applicator and this pot of product to stamp into your brow you know, through the stencil. And this product really surprised me. I have to admit I was somewhat skeptical about it because I just wasn't sure if I was going to wind up looking like I had a brow sticker on my face. The product that you use really does go on in kind of a gentle manner, so it ends up looking pretty natural, especially when you stamp it, and it also has very good lasting power. The kit they send you also comes with a spoolie and a little stiff brush, so if you did want to dip the angled brush in to the pot and get sharp, defined lines, you can absolutely do it with this tool. I think it's pretty innovative and interesting, especially if you yourself are like me and you have really sparse brows and you're not even sure what shape you want to create. The stencils can kind of help show you how you might want to build a brow shape that's flattering to you. I actually found myself enjoying this one a lot. One thing I will say, and I'll show myself here in the video getting it wrong, you don't want to flip the stencil over when you do the other side without thoroughly cleaning off the brow product or you'll just stamp yourself all over your eyebrow with the stencil product. I'm just sharing that because here I am making the mistake right before your very eyes and I thought you might appreciate hearing that. And then for my last product roundup here, I'm going to cut to a video I took earlier today where I applied the brows I've got on currently. One is Rare Beauty and one is by Tarte. So stay tuned, I'm gonna cut over to that. So finally, I wanted to test two products that have both a pencil and the gel in the same component. There are two products like that on the market that I thought I would give a shot. I have Rare Beauty's Brow Harmony product in the color Cool Brown. It has a chisel tip pencil on one end and it has a brow gel on the other. So I'm going to try the Rare Beauty pencil on the right eye 
And then I'm going to try Tarte's. Tarte makes one called Sketch and Set. And I've got the color Medium Cool Brown. And they have on one end a fine tip, a fine point. And then on the other end, there's a spoolie with a brow gel. So I'm going to try this one on my left eye. One thing about having the brow gel for me, I usually like to brush through my eyebrows first and the spoolie that comes with the brow gel, um, you know, I don't want to use that right away, which is of course like no big deal, but I thought it was worth noting. So I'm just going to get started filling in my sparse brows. I started with a fat end, which was a mistake, and that's partly why I went a little off-roading here. That's kind of my issue with the chisel tips. I kind of, I think I prefer the fine tip pencils to the chisel tip. But I do also appreciate the fact that the chisel tips seem to give you a little bit more product. Wow, this really fills in nicely. This is a really good color, this cool brown. Good color for me. Trying to get these lifelike hairs. Oh, I really like how this looks. That happened, that was really easy. That happened really fast. I think I'm gonna do the pencil first on each side so we can compare both steps of the way. So this is Rare Beauty's Brow Harmony in cool brown on my right eye. Going in with Tarte's Sketch and Set in the color medium cool brown, again with a fine tip. And as you guys have seen before in the other shots, if you've ever heard the phrase that your eyebrows should be sisters not twins, my eyebrows are like long lost pen pals from summer camp. They barely know each other. Okay, this color seems to me to be maybe slightly warmer than the Rare Beauty pencil. But if I were to leave the house with these two different colors on, I don't think anybody would notice. They're very close. If you get into the medium to dark to cool browns, I'm finding a lot of similarity, not a lot of difference. Okay. Once again, I've made two very different eyebrows. <laughs> Combing through with a clean, dry spoolie, no product on it. Okay, here are the two eyebrow pencils side by side. Rare Beauty's Cool Brown, Tarte's Medium Cool Brown. To my eye, in the mirror I have here, they're the same color, effectively. Okay, let's try the gels. Through all of this testing I've done, I'm still on the fence about if I like a colored brow gel, but we're gonna keep pushing and try this one. So here we go, Rare Beauty on this side. One of the reasons I'm not sure about the colored brow gels are just that my brows are so sparse. I think I'd feel differently if I had really nice, full, complete eyebrows. I'd probably really like it better. I do think the brow gels make my eyebrows look fluffier and more full. I do think they deliver that. Rare Beauty with the gel, and now Tarte. I have a house full of dogs right now. I have good friends that are out of town and I'm watching their dogs for a while in addition to my own We're having a little dog party over here okay the spoolie on the tart brow gel is a little finer and smaller I can feel the like the teeth or the fibers of the spoolie a little more obviously I think it combs through the brows really well little groucho marks for me I'm not sure I'm not sure I just am not sure I like 
tinted brow gel for me. I'm just not sure. It's a lot of brow. Okay, side by side. Side by side up close, and then let me back you out. Other thing about brow gel, I'm gonna zoom you back in. The other thing about brow gel is that it's easy to get little deposits of gel, tinted gel here, that then kind of you have to clean up. Try to just scrub off that gel with a makeup brush. It's really not working. I think I have to go in with a Q-tip with some eye makeup remover, which is too bad because I really like the makeup look that I've got going on here. I like both of these products in terms of the color of the pencil and the way the pencil's performed. And I do think their brow gels perform well. I just don't know if I personally am a tinted brow gel kind of person, but I do think these are both good products. So overall, through trying out all of these products, I've drawn a couple of conclusions about color and formula. I have found my favorite colors tend to be ash brown and dark brown. Most of the dark browns I tried were also very cool. I did find that the medium browns did tend to be a bit warmer. If you do prefer a lighter brow, I would recommend checking out the taupe. I do have uh, precisely my brow in the taupe shade, which is 2.5, and I'm gonna add that one just below the, um, the gray tone here on my hand so you can see it. So this is, this is precisely my brow in 2.5, which is taupe underneath the gray. This is a really good option if you prefer a lighter brow. I have found overall that I do prefer a clear brow gel to a tinted pomade, but I think that has to do with the fact that I have sparse brows. I will admit that those pomades do fluff up and make my brows look larger. I do think something like the Glossier Boy Brow in Clear is one of the types of products that I think is right for me. I couldn't do all of this research without ending with a couple of recommendations for you. I did not notice from product to product any real significant difference in terms of product quality or product performance. So first I'm gonna put some graphs up. This first graph shows overall product price. These are the product prices that you will pay primarily at Sephora for each of these products. The high watermark price is the Hourglass the Wedge Tip Sculpting Pencil. That one comes in around $37 and is the most expensive pencil here in my collection. Most of the pencils that they sell at Sephora are over $20. Their own store brand product comes in at around $7, which I think is an excellent value. I actually think that is a product you might want to check out. I unfortunately bought it in a color that I don't think is very flattering on me, so I don't know how much use I'll get out of this particular one, but I really wanted to try that formula, and I'm here to tell you, it definitely holds up against these other brands. One thing I wanted to note about this chart is if you look, you can see Rare Beauty clocks in at $11 for both pieces. That product, as I showed, has a gel and a pencil in the same component. It sells for $22. I ended up breaking it across the two because starting with the line that says Kosas, those are all gels and pomades. I put the Rare Beauty and the Tarte product in both the pencil category and the brow pomade category and split the difference by dividing the price in half. I think it's very interesting to look at the pricing here, but I think it's even more interesting to look at the price per ounce. This shows the difference in product weight. The Hourglass Sculpting Pencil that has the wedge tip has quite a lot more product than the Hourglass Fine Pencil. And I wanted to say that the Benefit Wooden Pencil that you sharpen has the most product in it, which is very interesting. You get a lot of bang for your buck with that wooden pencil. And what also was interesting to me is that for the Rare Beauty Pencil, even though you have two products in one and you might think that that would mean maybe you would get a shortened amount of pencil product, the Rare Beauty Pencil actually has more product in it, way more than the Hourglass, more than the Benefit, more than the Kosas, more than the one size. So I think the Rare Beauty is interesting for that reason. When you compare the product price to the product weight, you get the price per ounce. And this is where I really saw the difference. I had to look at this a couple of times to see if I had miscalculated, but I don't think that I have. The 
Hourglass Fine Pencil is the most expensive product in terms of price per ounce. The product package lists its weight as 0.001 ounces. And the price of this pencil is, I believe, $29. $29 divided by 0 0.001 is $29,000. It's possible that I've done this wrong, but I don't think so. For instance, if something were $5 and it were one ounce and you divided five by one, it would be $5 per ounce. If something were $5 and it were two ounces, you would divide five by two and you would get 2.5. It would be $2.5 per ounce. You divide $29 by 0 .001 and you get $29,000. I think it's important to note that when you're buying an hourglass microfine pencil, you're paying $29,000 per ounce for the product in that pencil. I caution you against doing that. Just for fun and comparison, a one ounce bottle of Chanel's number no. five Parfum is $345 a bottle, which is an expensive perfume, and it's not even remotely close to what they're charging for the Hourglass Micro Sculpting Pencil. The other products hang in there together at just under $10,000 an ounce. The Sephora Pencil really, again, here is an excellent value in terms of price per ounce, as is the Rare Beauty. If you do really want to have a, a product that has the gel and the pencil in one, I think the Rare Beauty is really showing itself as an excellent value. If the Rare Beauty did not contain the gel and was just the pencil alone, it would still contain more product than the ABH product, Hourglass, Benefit, One Size, Kosas, Fenty, all of them. The Rare Beauty has quite a lot of pencil product in it, and when you assume that its price is around $11 because I divided it in half because we do have the gel, then it actually winds up being a really good value for another Sephora grade, I would say kind of high-end Sephora eyebrow product. The winner clearly is the Eye Method. This pot of product is 0.14 ounces and it retails for about $20, I think on Amazon or on their website. So if you wound up really liking the stencil concept and you were able to work your way through that pot of product over time, it would be by far the most cost-effective option for you. I was shocked by this hourglass chart and there's part of me that even as I'm reporting it to you and the number of times I've checked my math and checked my numbers, I feel like I made an error. If I've made an error here, I would really like to be corrected. Feel free to correct me in the comments. I won't take it personally. I really do think my numbers are right here, and I think it's pretty shocking and worth looking at. Brow pencils for me are not where I want to be spending all of my money. This process has been really interesting for me. I've zeroed in on my preferred brow colors and product types, and I've learned which products are worth my money and which ones are not. Did you find this interesting? Is this something that you've been thinking about? Do you have any brow products you would like to recommend? Please keep the conversation going in the chat. You know I love to hear from you. I hope you're all doing well out there and I hope you have a great week ahead. Thank you so much for watching. Talk soon.